Welcome back. Our next topic will be planar stratification in upper and lower flow regimes. The bed form deposition is dependent on flow velocity and grain size, as depicted in the bed form stability diagram. Two general flow regimes can be characterised, namely the lower regime and the upper flow regime. In the lower regime, ripples and dunes and lower plane beds are formed, which are stable compared to upper flow regimes, which are characterised by plane beds and anti-dunes. Flow in the lower regime is always subcritical, that is with smooth water surface, while flow in the upper regime is supercritical, that is with an uneven surface. Lower flow regimes can produce plane beds, ripples or dunes. The preservation of lower plane beds with high mean diameter grains and low energy settings cause planar stratification. Horizontal layering in sand deposited from flow is referred to as plane bedding and produces sedimentary structures called planar lamination in sedimentary rocks. Laminae range in thickness from a few particle diameters to over a centimetre. We now cross over live to Steve who is at West Beach with an example of planar stratification. Thanks, Steve. Okay. At low velocity flows of fine grains, ripples are formed, but as the grains become too large, they are unable to build up into ripple mounts. Instead, the grains roll, creep, or slide along the riverbed, forming lower plane beds. At higher flow velocities, it then transitions into dunes instead of horizontal beds. Upper flow regimes produce anti dunes and upper plane beds. The planar stratification is preserved within the rock record as evidence of upper plane beds, which is dependent on the flow velocity and grain size. Upper bed planes are formed due to fine grains via being transported via suspension. A fallout onto a planar sediment surface occurs when currents are too weak to transport the newly arriving sediments over the bed without traction. The maximum flow velocity to produce plane beds is around 0.7 meters per second with fine grain sizes lower than 1.1 millimeter. Any velocity lower than this will produce ripples with a corresponding grain size. The transition from ripple bed forms to upper plane beds is due to the erosion of ripples into flat lying bed forms. Ripple and dune bed forms become washed out and, uh, and incre with increased flow velocity. As flow velocity increases, different bed forms are created. They can be identified by their distinct horizontal layering within the rock record. Upper plane beds can be well defined, unlike lower plane beds, which are poorly defined within the rock record due to, being a due to there being a transitional zone from non-movement bed settings to dune-like bed forms. Planar stratification can tell us something about their depositional environment. For example, high or low velocity river settings, deep ocean floors, strong sediment laden, hypercanal flows in the ocean or saline lakes from which a sediment rains down into quieter water below. We now cross back to Steve with an example of planar stratification by wave action. Thanks again Steve. Planar lamination is of interest to petroleum engineers as reservoir rocks such as shales exhibit this behaviour. Thank you for listening and good night.